Obviously, it's obviously a, a big, big win for you tonight. Um, talk about after the first round. I mean, things obviously didn't go your way in that round. What, what was the feeling at that point, and, and what were the adjustments you made? You know, obviously, I clearly knew I lost the round. <laughs> and uh, I just made, you know, I have great corners, uh, Coach Robert Falls, Misha Tay, Eric Nixick, and, uh, you know, I just need to switch up game plans. I was kind of waiting for him, uh, you know, trying to fight his style a little bit, wait, waiting for him to shoot and uh, not imposing my will. And, uh you know, round two, I came out and imposed my will. I said, you know, this this is my, you know, this is my ring, my octagon, this is my style, and uh, I'm gonna bring, you know, bring the fight to him. I, I wanted to strike and stand a little bit more on the feet and trade, but he was so elusive and, uh, you know, running away. He didn't want to engage in that, so uh, I had to beat him at his own his own game plan. You've had to deal with so much doubt, hate, criticism, all those things throughout your career, but this is one of those kind of gut check type of, of victories. I mean, do you think this is something that might? finally actually earn you some respect or or have you gotten to the point now where you just don't even care what the fans say anymore who knows man uh, i keep beating uh top ranked guys and uh, i'm the underdog every single time and uh, i welcome it you know um every time i do you know a big win it's not enough uh, there's some sort of excuses so uh as long as the ufc is happy with uh, my performance and uh they're my bosses they pay pay my bills so that's that's all i care about and lastly, there's a lot going on in the bantamweight division right now. A lot of big fights lined up, but people are talking about where, you know, where this would put each of you with a win. Have you had time to consider where do you think this puts you and what do you think should come next for you? You know, I think this puts me in title contention. I mean, Alzheimer's Sterling, the only guy ranked above him was Brow. Brow moved up to 45. And uh, Dillashaw and Faber. Faber's already fighting for the title. Uh, Dillashaw's already fought for the belt, and he already has a match lined up with the Sun Sal. So I think I'm right there in the mix. You know, Garbrandt wasn't even ranked before, not saying he's an amazing, amazing fighter. Uh, but he wasn't even ranked. So I think for him to leapfrog from not even being ranked to above me would be ludicrous. But uh, I think I'm the highest ranked guy now uh, that hasn't fought for the belt. You know, I don't know if it was if you'd even call it animosity, but it was. You know, he was he was you know tr uh, trying to be, uh, I guess, uh, sportsmanship with you during the fight, and then it, you know you you didn't want to touch his gloves or whatever. It was probably due to a lot of things that he said. I mean, was this one of the the more satisfying ones, just on a personal level, or, or you know, you you fought so many times in your career, is did you not really take it personally? It was just you know you didn't want to touch his gloves after everything he said. Um, oh man, you can't talk shit about you know me, my relationship, everything about me, and expect to come to a fist fight and expect to be all hunky dory and shake hands, you know, uh, before the fight. So, um, you know, I was just in the mindset that I, I was there to do work and beat this guy up, and and uh, you know, handshakes and we we hugged or whatever afterwards in the back room, and and uh, we're cool afterwards. But before that, I was in a mindset that you know I was going out there to to kill that guy, and and uh, for me, it was just you know. Um, not because all the things he said, I, I wasn't animosity about that, but I'm not going to be friendly either. You know, um, it was more about just beating the number four ranked guy. That's where I got the satisfaction. You know, I wasn't satisfied from beating him from what he said. That didn't really, you know, didn't really do anything for me. It was the number that he had in front of his name, and that's what I wanted. Ryan, you said that, um, you know, this is more the same. You've been fighting and beating the top guys. But when you're in the octagon afterwards, you said that, um, this is a new Brian Caraway. What can you expand on that? What do you mean by that? Yeah, man, I'm just uh, doing new things. I'm working with a new mental coach. Uh, I have a new sports doctor. You know, keeping me healthy, and uh, you know, I'm just training and and, and acting like a world class uh, fighter. You know, I'm doing the little things that I I think a lot of other fighters fall through the crack, and I believe that's the difference to be a champion. And and uh, I have my mindset right. You know, before I've struggled in the past past with uh, performance anxiety and. Uh, letting that consume me a little bit with uh, confidence. And now my newfound self, I'm, I'm ready to compete. You know, I know my value. I know my skill set. And I can compete with anybody in the world. Question for Brian. Um, there was a weird, like, full Nelson that Aljamain had you in the first round. Did that hurt at all? Were you in any trouble there? No, it was just a, that was a, you know, like a high school wrestling move, power off Nelson. And then I just got kind of got stuck. And there's nothing I could really do. It wasn't hurting. It was just kind of holding me. And uh, I shouldn't have let myself get quite in that position. Um, but yeah, it was just a matter of time, just kind of wait until he let go and decide to transition. And with the, the neck crank in the, in the first round too, with it, were you in any trouble in that? No, no, I had, I had one hand on the inside. So like I turned my face with it, you know, grappling is my game. And uh, I felt a hundred percent confident there. wasn't worried at all. Um, you know, probably that's why I ended up in that position. I was a little bit too lackadaisical on that, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't even close at all. I had my whole left hand inside, like. Um, he was on my cheekbone, so um, no, not even close. It seemed like your fight was fairly easy to score. I mean, you know, you lost the first round. It seems like you seemed like you won the second two. 
but then they start to announce the scores. How concerned were you when you heard that he won one of the scorecards? Did you think it was a case of, hey, you know, he got he got some push, and now maybe they're they're gonna steal the decision from you too? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, a gut check when they did that. You know, when they announced that uh, he won, you know, one of the judges announced that he won. Uh, you know, I just uh, thought in my head like, oh man, I can't believe this is happening. Like I thought it decisively won the other two rounds. I mean, he the guy was running from him the whole time. He was throwing you know, little flippy kicks, you know, he didn't do anything. He hit me with like one punch and one good leg kick. And uh, I took him down and beat on him for, you know, three quarters of the round. Like how does that damage not equate plus with the takedown and control? Um, I don't even know what these judges are watching. It just blows my mind. But I'm, thank, you know, thankful. And I thank God that I, I uh, got the win. You know, I feel like I deserved it. Also, any significance to the entrance music? Um, I don't know, man. I just I come out to the old school salt and pepper push. I, I used to come out to all kinds of different music every time, all old school rap. And uh, I don't know. I just started winning with that one and as a female artist group. And I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. And it's been working. So, there, I mean, there was a lot of you know speculation. It was you were making a comment about the push that he got promotionally. That was not that's not the thought process. Had nothing to do with that. But uh, salt and pepper actually was in town and had a concert <laughs> last night. So, but yeah, had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs>